Okay, for the final part, uh, we have already calculated the L0 value just now. Okay, 2.36 and 0.94, right? We have already calculated the V, the 3 and plus 1 value, uh, 0 0.015 and 0. We also have calculated the M value. Let me show what is the M value. 0, 0 0.376, 0 0.376 and 0 0.918. Okay, so we need uh, another value which is LN and B1. Okay, as I mentioned before, you have at the underflow, you are having 100 and kg of oil. Okay, uh, as I said before, you choose any point that you have here. Okay, any point. Mm, you are predicting that you will have a line that actually connected to, to this point. Okay, you didn't know where is the point yet. Okay, but you know that the concentration here, or sorry, the the slope here will be an n divided by y a n. Okay, because slope n is equal to y two minus y one divided by x two minus x one. Okay, and this is equal to n n divided by y a n, which is equal to kg solid divided by kg solution divided by kg solute divided by kg solution okay this is for yen this is for nn so for this one you didn't know the amount of liquid that presents the ln here you didn't know what is your ln what is the amount of your ln but you can manipulate this equation or this uh, uh, equation so that we can cancel this off. So it left with kg solid over kg solid. You know that everything's come from here, 2000 kg of uh, inner meal. The B will be equal to this part, this two part, because we're assuming that there's no B on the top part, the overflow. Okay? So 2000 divided by as I mentioned, as this question mentioned to you, there will be 120 kg oil here. So you got around <coughs> 16.67 here. 16.67. So this will be your slope. You put a line of y equal to mx, which is y equal to 16.67x. Choose any x value, you put it inside this equation, and then you plot one point, and then make a line from the zero because it's y equal to mx. So the cross the intercept will be at zero. Okay. Make a point and make a line at that particular point that you have calculated, and the one that crosses the equilibrium line is your ln. Okay. Therefore, you can already get your coordinates for your Ln. Finally, you can always find your V1 by having it in the same line like what we did for the leaching. Eh, sorry, for the liquid, liquid extraction. Okay. <coughs> sorry. Let me have it so that you will be somewhere here. Your end point will be here. Okay. This is your V1. Okay. So, the same thing that you need to do for the calculation of stages. Make a line from L0 to V1 and then make a straight line here. From your Ln to your V and plus 1, make a line. You will have one operating point here. Okay, that will be the main point that will calculate the stages. But this one, since the, since the X and Y value for the overflow and the underflow will be the same, so you don't need another graph at the bottom. Okay, what you can have is you just move this V1 up to the equilibrium line, you will get your L2 here. Okay, so sorry, L1 here. Okay, from L1 go straight to this one, you will have your V2 here. Okay, from V2 going up to L2, going straight here, and then from you are getting V3 here, going up. 
until it passes the LN. So for this one, the amount of stages for the one that I've drawn will be 2.8 stages. The answers in the book will be uh, how many stages? 3.9 because I'm not having the correct uh, scale for my figure. But that is how you calculate the stages for the chip process. It's much more simpler than liquid liquid extraction, but you're still using this uh, uh, more or less the same method to do the uh, stages twice. Okay, that's all for. Uh, like uh, leaching process afterwards i will give you one quiz to actually test you whether you understand or not the all the video clips that i given to you today and later tomorrow we will discuss via online on what have you achieved for your quiz itself okay thank you very much hope you enjoy the clips